What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the iPhone and iPod Touch on 3.1.2 firmware, 3.1.2, on a Mac. I've already did a Windows video on this with the same program, uh, so if you want to go check that out, link over there. I know I've did a lot of jailbreak videos lately, a bunch of stuff's been getting released and new firmwares really quickly, uh, so this is probably the easiest jailbreak video uh, that I'm going to do along with the Windows video because I'm using the same program. We're using Black Rain in this. It works with all devices. Doesn't matter what ver what generation iPhone or iPod Touch you have. Works with all of them. Um, so follow this guide, and you should be all right. If anything goes wrong, I am going to recommend that you wait for my next video, which is going to be a Mac jailbreak with Pwnage tool that uses custom firmwares and all that. And it's really it's less buggy. This thing you can run into some problems. So if you run into problems and you keep running into them over and over, and you tried it multiple times. I'm going to recommend you wait to my next video. It, it should solve everything. So before we begin, you're going to need to download Black Rain for Mac. I'll have a link over there in the description of the video. Download it. All right, so here we go. Now before we start, really quick, uh, I am already on the 3.1.2 firmware. You do, you do need to be also. And if you're going to update to the 3.1.2 firmware um, and you're already jailbroken, I do recommend you download the firmware and then from iTunes or wherever, and then you restore to the new firmware by holding the option or shift key and restoring to the new firmware. That'll wipe out everything in your phone because you don't want to have a jailbroken phone and then update because when you do that it keeps all kinds of stuff that you don't need in there from your previous jailbreak. So you want a brand new clean fresh jailbreak. Make sure you sync everything up to iTunes before you do that though. So let's go ahead and start this. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Uh, you've already downloaded Black Rain. Uh, you may need to extract it. It will be a .zip file. Uh, just unzip it. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and show you guys what you need to do. So go ahead, open up Black Rain. Alright, and basically it's just one little button. You need to have your iPod plugged up and just hit Make It Rain. Now it should say Entering Recovery Mode. Okay, and there we go. And that should be about it. We are done. That's how easy this jailbreak is, seriously. It works with all devices and you shouldn't have any problems. If you do, leave me some comments, let me know. But as I said, I will have a new video out for Pwnage Tool and it's pretty much, it's gonna work. There's not gonna be no bugs in it. Minimize iTunes, don't quit iTunes. You can minimize it. You can get this little pop-up uh, that says enjoy your jailbroken phone. You can read that if you'd like to. All right, and we're basically done. All right, we're just waiting for it to reboot. Sometimes it'll take longer uh, for some people. All right, so here we go. It is now rebooting, and uh, that's what should happen for you. If anything goes wrong there, what I'm going to tell you to do is hold the home and power button for about 10 sec or about 20 seconds, sorry, and your iPod should reboot. And then you may be able to try this process again. If not, what I'm going to recommend you do is put your iPod or iPhone or iPod in the DFU mode uh, and restore it in iTunes, or just open up iTunes and restore it. You should be fine. You should be able to do that, and uh, it should work out for you. But that you shouldn't have that problem though. So I'm just going to cancel the sync and here's what you're going to need to do. Open up, go over to the second page and go to Black Rain. And do not install uh, two of these at a time or three of these at a time. Only install one at a time if you're going to install any of them. And I only recommend installing Cydia. In my opinion, it's by far the best. So I'm going to select Cydia and then install. Let it do its thing. You do need to be connected to the internet. And uh, once it's done, you should have a jailbroken phone with Cydia and go browse through Cydia and have some fun. And there we go. Yep, there's Cydia. So we can open it up, let it update, and all that. I'm not going to do that. So uh, if you would like to delete the Black Rain program, what you can do is open it back up and go to uninstall Black Rain and then hit delete. And uh, that will delete Black Rain. So you just have the Cydia icon on your iPod, iPhone or iPod Touch. So that's it. That's how we jailbreak with Black Rain on Mac. If you have any problems with this, let me know in the comments and I should be able to help you out. Uh, but again, wait for your opponent's tool if you keep having problems. So if this video helped you out, please be sure to rate this video five stars and favorite it. Uh, and also leave me some comments and let me know what you thought about it, if it worked for you, if it didn't work, if you have any problems. Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.